What is up everybody, welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are going to be looking at an introduction to ratio. So in this lesson we're going to learn about what a ratio is, how we can show a ratio, and we're going to look at some word problems that involve ratio. So let's have a look at this first example together, and this says the ratio of apples to oranges. Now the order that a ratio question is given to you is very important because we're looking at the ratio of apples to oranges. And there's a number of different ways that we can show this in a ratio. Our first one, we're going to simply just count our apples and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven apples to how many oranges? One, two, three, four, five. So we have seven to five. So our ratio is seven apples to five oranges. That's the first way of showing it. Then we could show it using the colon, which is the symbol for ratio. So we could show seven colon five. That's another way of showing it. That's the most common way of showing it. But then we could also show it in a fraction because ratios and fractions are very closely linked. So we could also show it with being seven over five. We have seven apples to every five oranges. Okay, so let's have a look at this second example. This one says the ratio of boys to girls. So again, I'm going to look at the three different ways that I can show this. And I can see that I have one, two, three, four boys. So I have four to how many girls? One, two, three. So I could show it four to three, or I could put four colon three, or I could write four over three. But at this point, I'd like to just show you something. Now, if I get rid of one of these girls, boom, just like that, now we have a totally different ratio. Now, of course, we have four to two, four, two, or four over two. But what we can actually see is that we can simplify this ratio very much in the same way as simplifying a fraction. And if we were to look at this fraction, this four over two, we might be able to see that actually this just shows that for every four I have two girls. So for every four boys, I have two girls. But what we might also be able to see is that we have for every two boys, we have one girl. And again, for this second group, every two boys, I have one girl. So my simplified ratio could be two over one. And again, I could show that with two to one or two to one, just like that. And this would be the simplified version of the ratio. And just like fractions, we always want to show the ratio in its simplest form. Okay, let's have a look at a word problem then. This says John has four blue socks, nine red socks, and two black socks. First question says, what is the ratio of black socks to blue socks? So it's asking you for black socks. So let's put a line underneath the black socks to blue socks. And we have four blue socks. So I've got to be very careful and follow what the question said. And it said to the amount of black socks to blue socks. So I have two black socks to every four blue socks. So my ratio is two to four. Now what you might see is if we make this into our fraction, two to four, you might see that this can actually be simplified. I can divide by two, and I can divide by two, and I'd get one over two. So my ratio is actually one to two. Then my second question says, what is the ratio of red socks to the rest of the socks? So this is a two-step problem. So how many red socks do we have, first of all? Well, I have nine red socks. So I know that I'm gonna be starting with nine to something. And then I need to actually calculate my blue socks and my black socks, and two at four is six. So my ratio is nine to six. But again, I think I can simplify this. And just following the rules of simplifying, whatever I do to one number, I must do to the other, and I have to use multiplication or division. If you're not too confident on simplifying fractions or simplifying in general, check out my simplifying video that's gonna really help you out. But I can see that we can divide nine by three, and I can also divide six by three, and nine divided by three equals three, and six divided by three equals two. 
So my simplified ratio is three to two. Okay, and there you go. That is an introduction to ratio and what ratio looks like and looking at a word problem. Hopefully this has been useful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. But for now, massive thank you. Peace out.